Fawley Challenge Cup we go. And on the left-hand side of your picture, you can see on the Berkshire station, Attention. we've got the boat go. from Hereford Cathedral School and it's Los Gatos of the USA on the Buck station. So the Americans looking to get out fast and to get through this round. And they have had a good start. Like they've got the upper hand against Hereford Cathedral School as they leave Temple Island. We'll just keep an eye on that. Um, we'll keep an eye on that Hereford Cathedral School. They beat Westminster coming through. Los Gatos, one of the selected crews. We haven't seen them till today. And I think Hereford have, have managed that section well as well. And we can see the crews are still side by side in touch. Los Gatos will have had to manage their nerves. They would have been watching the other crews' races. This is their first chance to come down the course. So I suspect the adrenaline will be super high for them just now. So the early stage of this race. And to the live now, and you can see the Americans just nudging ahead, but no more than that. Hereford Cathedral School very much in contention at this stage in the white and gold. Yeah, that's exciting. You can see what we've been told where that signal box is number one is in the lead. So we can see that the station one is on in the lead at the moment, but, um, which is Hereford Cathedral School as they're going past. And so it is, it's tight at this stage of the race. And this is what we're hoping to see. Jim Harlow still be watching closely. It's his nephew, William Morgan Jones, who's in that Hereford Cathedral. And it was one of those moments in the umpires meeting that they did receive an official warning this morning because they were late off the um, training uh, oh, yeah. ground this morning. So they will have had to manage with that tension at the start as well. Yes, that's never a good start to the day's activities, is it? Having stern words from the officials about your, uh, your training discipline. So, yeah, look at this. Hereford Cathedral School. <laughs> I was going to say, I mean, the lead is uh, toing and froing, isn't it? There's absolutely nothing in this. The Fawley Challenge Cup, Los Gatos of the USA and Hereford Cathedral School. It's a cat and mouse. And every uh, few strokes, the lead seems to exchange hands. Yeah, it does, isn't it? Interesting. And these are um, junior men's quadruple skulls. So these are school, school boys who are racing in this event. Um, they're sort of 17, 18 years old. We've got, we've got a 16-year-old in the Hereford, two 16-year-olds in the Hereford Cathedral School. So young athletes. And what they're doing is really managing this moment. We can see that um, on the uh, three quarter mile, that the second, le the second number two is now up. So that Los Gatos, as you rightly said, Tim, has come across by about half the length. And there they are. We can see that Los Gatos crew, and they are rowing nicely together there with their red caps on and yeah. one white cap. And if you have made a very early start to life in Santa Clara Valley, and you're part of the Los Gatos Cup that rose on the Lexington Reservoir over in the USA. Very good morning to you. Welcome to our coverage. This is race number two on day three in the Fawley. And Los Gatos are in a good tussle with Hereford Cathedral School. They've got a bit of work to do. This is an incredible race. This is what we're talking about. We get up to this point on, on Thursday. We're getting to the sharp end of the regatta and we're seeing races that the lead is crossing uh, and change, exchanging hands. And, and that is just fantastic. Look at that, the Hereford Cathedral School there, that bowman that we can see. Jonas Time, you can see, in the boat with Alberto Lasso from the USA and then in the Hereford Cathedral School boat, we've got Inigo Shorrock there. That's the, uh, the back of Inigo Shorrock, you can see there, the bowman in the Hereford Cathedral School boat. This is a great performance from them. Yeah, really. against the Americans. It's going to be a tough ask, isn't it? It They're really not is. Getting involved. Yeah, Hereford Cathedral School being asked to get back onto their side of the water. But this is going to be a good finish because they're in front of Stewards now, only a few hundred metres remaining, and Hereford Cathedral School are still being spoken to. So Matt Pinson with that white flag telling them to get back on their side of the water. They've done that and satisfied, and now they can drive for home. Hereford Cathedral School on the Barcher Station, stretching the lead. Los Gatos have lost contention, lost uh, touch with Hereford Cathedral School. And now with just 10 strokes remaining, it's all but done. That's an incredible race. The, the lead exchange a couple of times in Hereford. Now they're the confident crew. They're 
absolutely springing away across that finish line. Classy performance, Hereford Cathedral School winning in the 40 Challenge Cup heat against Los Gatos of the USA. So the celebrations belong to them, Hereford. They are celebrating, they know they're going to be into the final three days of Henry Moore. That's a good achievement. Now.